Hi, I'm Nancy Guppy. When I say the phrase Northwest Folklife Festival, what comes to mind? Tie-dye t-shirts. Woody Guthrie wannabes. Communes? Free love. Exactly. Now, when many people hear the word folklife, that conjures up images of hippies wearing Birkenstock sandals, a hugging trees and singing protest songs about the man. The man, he's bringing us down. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And while there is some truth to that stereotype, the Northwest Folklife Festival offers, oh, so much more. Like Kaze Taiko, an exciting Seattle-based youth taiko group. Taiko is a word for drum in Japanese. For the young kids, I really feel like taiko is something that brings them back and connects them to their grandparents, to the community that existed before they were born. And Getting them interested and, and active and involved in the community is a really cool thing. Another folk life delight is Show Brazil, a dynamic, locally based Brazilian music and dance ensemble. Show Brazil is about to show Brazil in 45 minutes only. We, do, we go from traditional to contemporary Brazilian and dance. Folk life is very important to the Brazilian community because uh, there is no many uh, venues in Seattle that broadcast the Brazilian music and dance. For me, it's about to keep the Brazilian culture alive. And making their folk life debut this year is Grupo Yurame, a Garifuna dance and music performance group. We're Garinagu people. We migrated from different parts of Central America. The importance of performing in folk life with us is to address our culture. We want to share who we are with you. So that's our purpose. Audience loves to see Garifuna people perform because we bring a joy on the stage. It's a very colorful performance and lots of a hip movement and a lot of booty shaking. It's very fun, so you guys will love it. Folk Life, which is turning 35 this year, is one of our area's oldest local festivals. So to find out more about the history of this cool annual longtime event, we spoke with Folk Life Special Events Manager, Gretchen DeGroat. Well, it all started in 1971, um, when the Seattle Folklore Society got together with the National Park Service and what was then the National Folklife Festival Association and the City of Seattle. And they wanted to put on an event where people could come and share their music, share their dance, and share their crafts. Folklife has changed as the Northwest community fabric has changed. Whereas before we only had 300 performers, now we have 6,000 performers at the festival. It's basically just bigger and more diverse. And because we're a free festival, it makes all the difference as far as who you're going to see at the festival and who you're going to interact with. Folklife has a fantastic lineup this year. Cutting edge hip hop show with Abyssinian Creole, Breaking Point Dance Company, and the Arab American MC Sons of Hagar. Our Asian Classical Traditions Showcase involves Araki Bayoku, a Japanese bamboo flute player, and Maurice Ruman, who's a master of the oud, which is an Arab instrument with a very rich history. A festival favorite is our Gospel Show, with Pastor Pat Wright coordinating an amazing extravaganza of gospel music. The Filipino Show is huge, showcasing all of the traditions of the Filipino community. The Afro-Latin Showcase is a fabulous collection of music and dance traditions from Latin America where the roots are in Africa. And not to be missed is of course the Polynesian Show that shows off the music and dance from Hawaii, Tahiti, and across Polynesia. The Northwest Folklife Festival at its heart is about participation. And so people don't just go and watch a performance um, of music or dance, but they learn. So they're learning how to do a Tahitian dance or how to play the banjo, or they're learning how to cook the best dish of tabbouleh ever. They have all of these opportunities to enrich themselves and come away from the festival with a whole new range of experiences that lets them know more about the community as a whole and it lets them know more about themselves in the process. 
Come celebrate four days of free fun at the 35th anniversary of the Northwest Folklife Festival, happening Memorial Day weekend, May 26th through the 29th. For the full performance schedule, go to nwfolklife.org.